everyone, it's me again. Um, this video is an updated on my Lolita clothing. I got a couple new items, and uh, I got two dresses, a pair of socks, and finally I got me a pair of tea party shoes. Yay! Oh, and today's song is Chiodos. If anybody wants to know. I'm a big Cheerios fan, and uh, I'm gonna go see Crazy Lynch today, so yay! Yay for me! Um, and I'm gonna show you some other items I got yesterday. I went to a German Fest, German Fest for October Fest here in Cleveland, and they had. Um, I'm not German, but I'm Hungarian, so there I have some things that I got because I'm really into my heritage of being Hungarian. I'm, Three fourths I'm getting even though I'm like the palest person ever. But um but let me show you what I got. Um these are my secret shop shoes. My tea party shoes. I got them for a good deal. Um I've been looking for these shoes for like the past year. Because um I don't I have all the addresses but I don't have shoes. I always had um my mom's vintage shoes. Or I had these old pair of tuck shoes I got from Vegas from the Betty Page store. But now I finally broke down and brought me a pair from a girl from California. Whoever that is, thank you so, so much. And when was it? Like a week ago, I finally I um, traded my fantastic dolly dress and got two dresses and a pair of socks. Uh, yeah, two dresses and a pair of socks from this girl, and the socks I'm going to show you are like the two pair of socks I probably own, and these are it. They are carousel socks, and I'm guessing they came out when they re released Sugar Song Ball. That's what I'm guessing because they came out a few times. These are like the cutest freaking socks I've owned, and they're like the cutest thing ever. And, um, the dresses I got was I got the old Dreaming Macaroon dress, so one piece. As you can see here, and this bow is attachable. I just, the girl had it unattached, but I attached it back on. And here's the print. As you can see, it's got macaroons and little cakes and stuff like that. And it was really cute. And then I got Vampire Foot. Vampire Foot Forest. Pre Madonna, a pre Madonna River called JSK, and it's the purplish pinkish color, which is really cute. It's, high, it's more like a high waisted dress, just like my fantastic dolly dress. It's really cute. And the thing is, I don't think I'm going to wear a petticoat with it, because a petticoat looks kind of stupid underneath of this dress. So I, and plus it ties in the back, but if you tie it, it doesn't look like you can stick a petticoat underneath of it. So I'm not going to. I recommend not wearing a petticoat with this dress. It looks really, really weird. It doesn't give you that shape you need, so it looks better if you just leave it like this. And it looks really pretty. And um, so another thing is I'm making my own jewelry. I have my my work right here. I'm making fuzzy stars and fuzzy hearts. And some other things. If you, if you can see, this is a star I made. And there's two little bows, and this is the heart that I made, and what did I do? Oh, well, I, this, these two are made out of baby blanket, the two and the other two are just made out of, um, string. Um, oh, song now is, I guess burns red, since I have my iPhone on, but, um, I'll put a link to where you can buy my little, my little clippy thingies. Um, they're 15 bucks so far, and they have, um, the clip, the little clip here, and then you can pin it to, like, your, your dresses and your coats and cardigans and stuff like that, and, um, oh, what I got from German Fest is this headband, it's the cutest thing ever, it's got the red and green, in white for Hungary, and I'm thinking about wearing it with my red Leo dress today. 
So, I don't, I feel, I feel like there's a mystery. So, yeah. Oh, the thing is, if you notice my hair is blue, I dyed it blue because I like it and I like my little fringe. So I'm kind of wanting because of like the hipster looking hair or the pinup girl looking hair. And I really like it. And since this is not really low well grade fashion, I got a new purse. My shit off first. I got it at a vintage shop for like 50 bucks. And it's from the 50s? Not the 50s, the 80s. It's, it's, it's a vintage shop purse. And it takes 50 bucks for it. So, this is a vintage shop. So, um, that's my video for right now. So, um, I'll put a link to my fuzzy, my little thing, and my, my line is called Carousels and Corpses, so I'll put a link, it's going to be a Paul Miller site, so I'll put it into the video for you guys to see, so thank you for watching, and bye everyone.